All right, many thanks to Simon Hobbs. Now, let's turn to our distinguished panel to talk about this. Here now is the architect of the original Greek debt deal, that being Charles DeLara, managing director of the Institute of International Finance. And we welcome House member Kathy McMorris Rogers, Republican from Washington State, vice chair of the House Republican Conference, author of an op ed, Time to Cut the IMF's Credit and Europe's Bailouts. Okay, Charles, let me go to you first. Uh, a few weeks ago, you said if, uh, if, they leave, if Greece leaves the Eurozone, it would destabilize the entire world economy. I agree. The question is, are they going to leave the Eurozone? Well, Larry, good to be back with you. And I guess we really have to await the result of the elections uh, six days from now in Greece to find out the answer to that. But I doubt it seriously. Even the most radical leaders in Greece today do not speak of leaving the Eurozone. And I think many Northern European leaders who were earlier flirting with that idea of an attractive <coughs> option to be rid of the Greek problems are now recognizing that Greece staying in the Eurozone is the best prospect to at least help stabilize Europe. A lot more needs to be done, but leaving uh, the euro by but, Greece is not going to help. Just quickly, uh, before I get to uh, Ms. Rogers, I mean, really, Charles, how, how catastrophic would it be? The whole Greek economy, the whole Greek banking system falling apart, there'd be no cash. I mean, the, the authorities are talking about stopping ATM machines and silly things like that. There'd be no money, there'd be no nothing. How catastrophic would it be for Europe and, let's say, for the U.S.? Larry, I think it would put us back in a global recession, no doubt about it, and near the edge of a global depression. Greece may be a small economy, but it has become symbolic of the euro sovereign debt strings. And I think the fact of the matter is, is that the exposure of the ECB to Greek institutions is more than double the size of the ECB capital. So the ECB would be immediately in an almost insolvent stage. You would have to stabilize the other banking systems and sovereigns of Europe with massive amounts of aid, the likes of which are much greater than is being discussed today. Greece itself would go through a period of hyperinflation, and unemployment is already at extraordinarily high levels. So I think this needs to be avoided at all costs. All we right. know let, how let contagion me, let, moves. All right. Uh, yeah, no, that's it, the contagion issue. This is the one thing. All right, Kathy McMorris Rogers, welcome back. Now, you've heard Charles DeLara, who knows thing or two mm -hmm. about it. Your view is the IMF should not help. Can you tell us why? Well, it, it is a Europe faces this debt crisis, and it is a, it's a tough situation. But it's really up to Europe, the, the EU, and the Eurozone to be making these decisions. And, and Greece is just the canary in the coal mine, really. It is it's a, a small country. Uh, but even over the last two years, where we've seen over $500 billion in, in bailouts and other commitments, uh, Greece and the other Euro countries are still moving in the wrong direction. They are not, they're not making the tough decisions. In, in Greece, we've seen where their, their debt to GDP continues to increase. They still are running 10% uh, deficits every year. Uh, uh, Europe, 23 out of the 27 countries, continue to spend more. Uh, this has hardly been the age of austerity in Europe, despite uh, the challenges that they face. Uh, okay, uh, I'm with you on that, but I just want, in, in your op-ed, you, you talk about a $100 billion U.S. line of credit to the IMF, which the IMF has put into circulation. I'm not quite sure what you're driving at there, or or let me ask it more affirmatively, how can we stop such a thing? Well, in 2009, there was uh, a doubling of the quota as well as uh, the $100 billion line of credit that was given to the IMF. Uh, and this is, this is a blank check that was authorized. Only a small portion of it so far has been committed. My point is that by withdrawing, bringing back that line of credit, it would force Europe, it would help Europe actually, to make the decisions that they need to be making, the tough decisions to start balancing their budgets, uh, actually reducing spending uh, and stopping the bailouts in Europe. Charles, what do you think of Kathy McMorris Rogers' view, keep the IMF out of it, make Europe really toe the line for Europe? Well, Larry, I agree with, I share some of Kathy's concerns, but I don't agree with the recipe at all. If in the 1980s, when we were trying to stabilize Latin America, Europe had said, this is an American problem, fund it all out of the U.S. budget, pull the IMF out, it would have been a disaster. The IMF is there to help solve global problems. And unfortunately, Kathy, I believe that the problems which Europe now faces are increasingly so difficult, so entrenched, 
that it's going to need global leadership to solve it. And I think that the U.S., China, and other countries are going to have to put their shoulder behind the wheel through the IMF. Kathy, the, I, the United States has not even voted through, if I'm correct, Kathy, its share of the quota increase in 2009. So I think actually I would see the opposite here. I do share one concern that these programs have not been well designed. Mm. Rather than focusing on fundamental structural reform of the fiscal problems, downsizing the role of government, they have focused too heavily on short term budget can, cuts, mostly through tax increases, can I, I which just, have not been the right all recipe. Right, we're always out of time. Kathy, can you give me a brief, well, a brief just, last word, please? Very quickly, the, I think it's very important that there, you distinguish between the quota. I'm not saying that the United States should pull out of the IMF. Uh, there's, uh, there's commitments that we've made. That's an important role. Uh, this $100 billion was a separate line of credit that was authorized. Uh, there's been a real lack of accountability or communication. Uh, it's really become a blank right. check for the Obama administration. I got to leave it there. Thank you very much. Charles DeLara and House member Kathy McMorris Rogers. I appreciate it. Up next on Cudlow, President Obama, defining moment that'll probably cost him his reelection. Here's a little trick.